We're going live, hot for food takeover. Hello everybody, come join the party for hot for food takeover going down. Here's Schnickles! Schnickles! <laughs> All right. How am I gonna prop this up? I hate this thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be joined by my one of my besties, Jeffrey Boyer Chapman in just a momento. Let's see if he's around. Dee, dee, dee. Hi, AM Bagel TO. There's Jeffrey. We're going live. Here we go. Dee, 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 dee. Jeffrey Boyer Chapman is the host of Canada's Drag Race. Hi. Toy, toy. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, Toy Toy. I'm so good, honey. How are you? I'm great. Are you good. ready to cook? I am, I am so ready. I'm so hungry. So this is like perfect timing. Okay, but you're not hangry. I'm not going to get hangry. I balanced my blood sugar. I had a bag of bar. I had a green juice. I'm good to go. Okay, so <laughs> everyone, this is Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. You may recognize him from Lauren IRL vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> but also from um, American Horror Story Apocalypse, Unreal, seasons one through four. <laughs> and soon to be, oh, also Dirty Grandpa, one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> And also soon Canada's Drag Race. You are hosting the show. Yes, honey. When Get does it come out? Uh, I can't give away oh. exact dates, but coming soon. And uh, y'all are about to be cooped and gagged. It is legendary. Legendary. So excited for you. Always Thanks, doing honey. big things over there. Jeffrey you, know, you know, I'm just trying to keep up with you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, do you want to meet my boyfriend Eric hustling. too? Boy, Eric's gonna be helping me through. Yes, all right. This well, hand it off because. This... Hi, Hi, Eric. Hi, everyone. This is Eric. Also, they're gonna call me Toy Toy throughout this entire broadcast. Just FYI. You okay. <laughs> <laughs> might sing Toy Toy throughout this entire broadcast. Yeah, it's not just Toy Toy. It's Toy Toy. <laughs> 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 All right, well, you better hand it off to Eric because we're going to go rummaging now through your Yeah? Page. Okay, cool. You want to take this? Yeah. Let's get okay. this party started. Okay. Do we, should we flip the camera around? This is, yep, okay, just FYI. Just, yep, okay. yep. Let's go place to start. This is my first time ever doing live, ever. So cool. forgive me. Yay, it's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. Okay, I'm, I'm going to hand it over to Eric. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The cameraman so, has got it. So we actually did do a big shot on the weekend because we were completely running out of food. So it looks like I have a lot in the fridge. We have a lot of ingredients, but truthfully, I don't cook. Yeah. So, so I lived in New York for so many years. I just got so used to post-meeting everything and trying <laughs> to continue that trend in Los Angeles. So these are all ingredients for me, but I yeah. don't really know what to do to put them together. All right, well, is there something you feel called to use today that you wanted to use or? Um, well, we have, uh, these yakisoba noodles, which oh, are... Oh, those are fun. Yeah, they're vegan. They're plant-based. We have this uh, Beyond Beef with the vegan Trader Joe's chili in it. Eric made some amazing, like, crunch wraps earlier that were spectacular. Okay. Um, what do we have chopped up here already? We have chopped up tomato and red onion. Yeah, take that out. Yeah, take yeah. those out. Take out the soba. Take out the meat. Chili. Okay. Is the chili really spicy? No, it's not. It's like a, it's like a mild chili. Interesting. Um, okay. I have ginger as well. I don't know if that's going to do us any good. I have a uh, spinach pesto that Eric made the other day. Wow. Eric actually cooked. I mean, I don't cook. <laughs> yeah, you guys have been cooking though through quarantine because we talk all the time and you're like, making stuff for my book or you're trying different stuff. Eric's cooking different things. Yeah, I try. And I mean, this feels so normal because I nor whenever I try to cook, I end up just FaceTiming you call me. and asking me what to do anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> pretty normal. But, he, um, he calls me from the grocery store being like, what do, what do I need for this or whatever? Yeah. Um, I don't think we need anything in the freezer. I mean, all we have in the freezer is like impossible meat, but we already have some, in, some beyond meat. Yeah, called. I like the idea of using up leftovers. Okay. I do have some hot for food leftovers. We married a lasagna soup, but it's frozen. Oh. We won't dive into that. Um, I mean, what else do we have here? Uh, I have tempeh. Okay. I have... Uh, oh, I got this because you recommended it to me. I had it at your house. It was so delicious. The BioLife uh, feta. Feta, yes. It's so good. So good. I don't think it's probably going to work with the number we're making right now. But um, 
sun dried tomatoes. Yeah. Um, the yakisoba is an Asian noodle. And yeah. as soon as you said yakisoba, and then you showed me that you had that meat chili stuff, my head went to my Dan Dan noodle recipe. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if you have the things to transform the chili into more of an Asian thing, but we could try. We can try. Do you want to see what else we have for vegetables? We have lots of vegetables. Yeah, like do you have bok choy or spinach or? Uh, I have both. I have broccoli and cauliflower combo. I have spinach. I have arugula. <laughs> I have artichoke heart. What are you going to do with that artichoke heart? I don't even know, girl. We're I hate them. This. We're not going to touch that. You know what's funny? It's like, like it's generosity in the time of coronavirus. I had a, a friend of mine drop off a bag of groceries to my house, like, just out of the kindness of her heart. And this was one of the things she dropped off. Asparagus. asparagus. We have... We had um, asparagus on the show last week. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's saw. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. We're not going to touch that artichoke because I do dislike right. preparing those. Okay. Um... <laughs> You need a closer look. Do you see inside the pantry? Right well, no. Okay, so, okay, so let's um. Yeah. Okay, so let's in the chili. I guess how much yakisoba is there? Only one serving. No, it's actually technically two servings. Okay, because yeah. I I guess I want you to make two servings so that you and Eric both have something to eat. Okay. Did you just eat those yesterday, though? Did I eat this yesterday? Did you eat the yakisoba yesterday? No, this was like this is like a week or two old, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And then the chili. Show me, show me the chili. Let's get a close on that meat. Well, it's, chili. Just, so it's, the, it's beyond beef that he mixed with a can of vegan chili from Trader Joe's. Interesting. And is yeah. it really chili tasting? Like, I mean, let me see. I feel like we can change it. No, it just tastes like beyond beef, really. Okay. Do you have <laughs> soy sauce or tamari? I have both. Do you have, and you have ginger, actually, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And do you have, what kind of vinegars do you have? What'd you just call me? <laughs> Every time I say that, okay. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have white vinegar, I have balsamic vinegar, I have red wine vinegar. Rice uh, vinegar? Okay. Pardon me, I don't have any. Uh, no rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. Well, white vinegar, hmm. Oh, I have apple do cider you... vinegar. What other Asian-y condiments do you have? Do you have any Asian-y type things in the fridge? Um, we have hot chili oil. Yeah. Sesame oil. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Eric, do you know what we have that would be Asian? Um, um, that kimchi flavoring. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. I, this is what I want to do. I want to take that meat mixture stuff and, like, change the flavor profile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You have the flavoring, too, in there that we got from Whole Foods. We do? Oh. In the drawer. Where? Here? Is it like oh, curry paste or something? Mm, I don't know. Eric is telling yeah. me that we have kimchi flavoring somewhere. Interesting. Okay, thanks. Ooh, do you have that umami seasoning from Trader Joe's? Yes, yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, get that out. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so how do you feel about that? Okay, so I feel like, okay. We're gonna like blend a sauce in your blender. Sure. Yeah. We're gonna saute those like leftover red onions. Okay. With ginger. It took everything in me to not say what did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably say it eight more times, so it's fine. <laughs> Even though ginger doesn't sound like that. <laughs> well I'll be the judge of that. Uh, everybody comment an emoji if you get the joke. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to add broccoli um, and maybe some spinach. So right. let's start. So your onion's already cut. The broccoli is, yeah. And, the, and the red onion? Yes, but it's, there's only this much. I mean, this is just from That's one. okay. We're going to use it up. Yeah, okay. All right. And then your ginger uh, is what, like a chunk? Yeah, but I have so much. I mean, look, we have so many, like, sprigs of it here as well. Yeah, okay. Well, start with that small piece, and um, you're going to peel it. Yep. Okay. You can do that, or with a spoon, yep. You know why I have so much ginger? I've been making homemade kombucha for the past couple of months, and this is, like... Yeah, you have an abundance of kombucha. Oh, it's so good, too. Kiwi lime ginger is my... Oh, wait, kiwi... kiwi 
was it kiwi lemon ginger kiwi lemon ginger is my favorite combo you have a lot i'm gonna have to i know take I some this. bottles I have to bring someone this. said i don't get it <laughs> <laughs> it's probably for the best <laughs> yeah you i did just wash my hands too fyi everybody just okay good yeah um you'll also need to get out a pan get out a pan okay do you want and a, a... as far as i know those yaki soba noodles all you need to do is like put them in hot like boiling hot water for like a minute i think so too so there's two ways we could either boil a pot of water or you can boil the kettle with water okay um so for the pan do you want a big one like this or a smaller one like these i always like having more room than less so the, the big one the big one yeah okay. as if i'm there but it, you'll just find it's easier okay it fills up pretty quick, and then, right? And then get a pot ready for the yakisoba. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah, fill that with water and bring it to a boil now. Do you have a lid for it so it boils faster? Okay. Do you have a lid for it so it boils faster? It's going to be a fast one, I feel like. You... <laughs> How do you feel about the idea, Eric? Um, good. I tried this before, but I didn't do it successfully. Oh, you tried doing this? Yeah. Remember we made the ramen about a week ago with the leftover Beyond meat? It was incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> Why did he say so, it doesn't work? He's, he's being hard on himself. It yeah. Was so delicious. And did you follow a recipe or you just made it up? No, I just made it up as well. But it was just, I think with the Beyond meat, it was really hard to take out it has like like a very distinct taste i feel are you seeing yeah it's face quite while he's talking out right now no. i mean what is this you can't miss you can't miss that <laughs> so yeah it's I feel smoky like i would have done it with impossible meat uh before but i don't know if you have any tricks to kind of get that like that i don't know that beef i'm layer hoping it. yeah it's like very smoky and like yeah also had a chili which is smoky so i feel yeah. like we're just gonna add some acidity and soy sauce and like spice and sesame oil and it'll hopefully change into more of an asian style mince sort of mince i call it a mince because i'm picturing my dan dan noodle recipe i use a ground round and then you serve it on noodles and you just have greens in it and it's like it's just like got that umami, like more Asian flavor profiles. Yeah, great. So let's try it. Air I... out, it's so hot in here. Will you take this? Mm -hmm. Thank you, my darling. But you actually ramen? enjoyed the ramen that we made, right? I thought it was incredible. And, well, yeah. would you have made done differently to it? Nothing. I mean, this is the thing. You can show it back to me if you want. When it comes to like basic cooking, I can handle it. But when it comes to like flavor profiles, that's where Eric is a pro, and that's where you're a pro. Yeah. I just I I, I get lost on what to add, how to flavor it, what condiments to use, what spices to use. So many of the condiments and spices I have here at my house are actually from you, Toy Toy, from when you've been here cooking with me. Yeah. Earlier, you know? So, okay, so okay. we have the pan. So the water's on? Yeah, we have the water boiling. We have the pan. I'm wearing, I'm wearing this vegan queen sweatshirt. For yeah, you, take it off. You're going to be too hot. <laughs> you vegan queen? And then he's got his shirt on. This is Jeffrey's shirt. Oh, yeah, this is my shirt. Yeah, yeah. like too. meaning he sells those, not like obviously it's his shirt. <laughs> yeah, I designed it. You can put a link to where you can Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Uh, well, let's make the sauce. Okay. Um, I want to have the sauce ready before you start sautéing stuff. So, uh, what type of machinery do you have there? Do you have your little bullet thing? Yes, I do. Yeah, let's do it in that. Okay. Mm. Because that's good for well, sauces. I have, I, have, I have a food processor, but I do have a bullet. No, we want to use bullet. We want it to be uh, blendido. <laughs> so, magic bullet or Yeah, and, or like that, or like, yeah, just like the bullet style thing. Don't you put it, you have one for your ninja, or you also have your bullet? Oh, right. Remember once we blended something with the bullet that goes on the ninja? Yes, but I have no idea where oh well then just use the magic bullet it doesn't matter okay um i just know that the ninja doesn't blend sauces the way i like unless it's the bullet right. oh it might have to be the ninja i don't even know where the bullet thing is oh wait. no i know you have it <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, yeah so this, is the, this is the ninja 
I don't know. Yeah, so great. Yeah, that's fine. This is exactly what you need. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, but that's for the ninja. That's not for the bullet. You okay with that? Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. As long as, I mean, like, the bullet uh, vessel. Got it. For any base. <laughs> Here it is. Everyone wants to have your link for your shirt. I'll have to put it on Instagram later or... Oh, okay. Yeah. I won't Definitely. be able to get it right now. Definitely. I always give a, proceed, uh, a portion of the proceeds to... Uh, uh, an LGBTQ center of charity. So the first 500 shirts, all the proceeds went to the LA LGBT center. So if anyone has any suggestions for LGBT focused nonprofits or charities right now, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Oh, great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, okay, so we're so... so the ginger is good to go. The water is almost boiling. All right, so let's get to that bullet and you're gonna add, we're gonna start adding stuff to the bullet. So we're going to add some kimchi. We're going to just put the whole bit of kimchi and some of the juice in there. Not all of it, sorry. Will you come like, and show me how much to use? Yeah, so start spooning some in and I'll tell you when. Okay. Like actually like a spoonful like that? How much meat's there? Can you show me how much meat you have? Uh, okay. Okay, so starting yep. with kimchi? Yep. Okay. Keep going. That looks good. Pour some juice in now. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Now the soy sauce or the tamari? What is the di which ones do you have? I have both. Let's use, is one of them low sodium? No. Mm, no. Okay, let's use tamari. I prefer tamari. Okay. How much are you using? So. Uh, are we just going to use a titch toy toy? Or are we gonna add yeah, just a titch. I'm just going to basically tell you when to stop. You have the little cap on it, so it shouldn't come out too fast. Yeah. She'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay. So... Good. <laughs> I feel the like we're going to need more. Oh, it's already boiling? Yeah. Yeah, just go to low. Okay. All so right. Mari, um, now take that sesame oil. And you're going to add some of that. And I'll tell you when. It's hard to see. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And. Do you, want, do you want the hot chili oil? Well, I don't want to go too hot until we know how, what how it tastes with just the kimchi. Okay. Because I don't know. Do you like how spicy do you like things? I mean, like medium spicy, not too intense. Medium, yeah, okay. Uh, do you have any spicy, garlic? We can, we can do it. Do you have any garlic? Yes, we do. Here. All right, so. Smash a couple cloves, peel them, smash them, peel them, and then throw two in there. Two? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to have you blend the ginger, I think. I don't think we need to. Yeah. I think, do we have sesame seeds as well? We do. Is that going to be helpful for you? Yeah, sesame seeds will be nice as a garnish. Yeah, cool. Do you have mushrooms? I don't have mushrooms, actually. I'm so, I mean, out of, all the, out of all the things we have, we don't have mushrooms. I'm so impressed with you. You haven't gone grocery shopping in three weeks, you said? Yeah, I'm going to make it to four weeks, 100%. Crazy. I was thinking today about how to use my frozen vegetables. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. So we have two cloves of garlic. Throw it in. Okay. Yeah, you're delayed. Your signal. Hmm. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Well, there you are. You're back. Okay, yeah. We'll just go off Wi-Fi, maybe? We'll just, we'll just go off Wi-Fi. Just one second. Yeah. I hope it works. I think it just takes a second. Okay. Yeah, okay. So throw those two cloves in there. Don't crush them or anything. Just throw them right in. Yeah, they should blend. Okay. And then take... Let me see that ginger knob you peeled. Yeah, cut that, cut like a third of that off. Mm. 
and use that the smaller portion. Yeah, of the cut that in half and then put that in. Okay. Just in case it gets trapped. Yeah, just throw that in. Okay. Yeah. That works. Okay. Um ba ba ba. What do we do? Sesame oil, tamari, kimchi, yeah. ginger, garlic, and that umami powder. Where's that umami powder? Right here. I also don't know what this this kimchi paste is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a paste. I bet it's really spicy. Yeah, I think it is too. So you have the umami. So, yeah, um, I guess you could shake it in, but it would be better if you could take off that white cap and then use a little spoon or the end of a spoon to just get like half a teaspoon in there. Okay. Did you say half a teaspoon? Yeah, to okay. start. Half a teaspoon. My leg's gonna fall asleep here. What'd you say? My leg's gonna fall asleep the way I'm sitting. Uh, okay. Okay, half teaspoon. Right in? Yeah, try that, yeah. Okay. I feel like you might have this because you cook from my cookbook, but do you have white pepper? No, I don't. I okay, black, well, the only reason I asked salt. is because white pepper is used in <laughs> Asian cooking, so. I don't. I have, I only have black pepper. Okay, well, no big deal. I don't think we need to add ground pepper at this very moment. I do have, I have white or black salt that you left here. Oh yeah, no. Oil. I don't think black salt we, we don't want in this. Okay. Um, yeah, someone said lime juice. That is true. Oh yeah, vinegar. You didn't have rice vinegar, but you said you had white vinegar? I have white vinegar, yeah. And do you have lime juice? I have a lime. Yeah, lime is just sort of with what I'm doing, I feel like it's the wrong acid. So I'm actually going to say um, ap apple cider vinegar. Yeah. And add, um, add a teaspoon. A teaspoon, okay. Yeah, we are going to need to add some sweetness. Good point. Someone said maple syrup, but you could really add any kind of sweetness. So. Do, you know, do you know what I just learned the other day from watching one of your takeover videos? That this is a spoon, not a tablespoon. Yeah, did you just learn that? I didn't know. <laughs> I know people don't know that. Like, yes, it's a table. It's a spoon on a table, but it's, it's not a tablespoon. Little, it's a little over, but so that's that's okay. Um, yeah, and then what do you have in the way of um? Do you have maple syrup or do you have coconut sugar or? I have both. Let's use coconut sugar because it's a little more molassesy, which I think is good for this. It's coconut palm sugar, is okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, this I'm gonna just say. Well. I'm gonna say add a tablespoon of that. Add what, sorry? A tablespoon of that. Okay. Yeah. Now let's blend that and see what happens. Okay. So if you're just joining us, we're trying to make kind of like a Dan Dan noodle, but I it's not really an authentic Dan Dan noodle, but we're taking Jeffrey's leftover Beyond Meat with chili mixture. And we're making a new sauce that's Asian inspired with kimchi, Soy sauce, ginger, garlic, uh, maple syrup, sesame oil. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, and I'm hoping that this will dilute the smoky chili aspect of his meat and make more of an Asian sauce for his like ground meat. And we're going to use yakisoba noodles. Yeah, onion powder would be good. Is it, is it too thick? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we're comparing it to. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Let me see it. I mean, it's kind of like you know what it reminds me. Of? It reminds me of like a tomato bisque. That's what it's the consistency. Tomato is. bisque. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about you taste it for me and tell me what you think? Okay. I think it's delicious. <laughs> it's not too acidic. No, it's perfect. Is it salty enough? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's really good. Here, I All right, I want to add. Let her, her. <clears throat> That's really good. Yeah. It's good. It's funny because I can't taste it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they think it's salty enough. Do you think it could use a slight titch of tamari? No. It's, no? It's, it's like verging on too salty if we, if we 
Oh, okay. So then what I want you to do is I want you to add a titch of water and blend it again. Just a titch? <laughs> yeah. Of like water, you say? One to two tablespoons of water. Of water. Okay. I'm going to use And it's, water. is it spicy enough? Uh, Eric, is it spicy enough? Yeah, it's definitely spicy enough. Okay. Okay. One, two, No one else will be joining the live stream. Sorry to burst your bubbles, but. <laughs> uh, Someone's like, a... add me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now going to the game, you said? Yeah, just let's get it really smooth. Okay. In case anyone's uh, wondering, Nicole is consulting. 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 Did it? It's not too liquidy now, is it? All right. I think uh, let's go with that and yeah. see where okay. we met out when we cook everything. Okay. So set that aside for us. It's hard to say what a titch is. A titch is almost like someone's asking what a titch is. You know what a titch is. A titch can, yeah, a titch cannot be qualified in any other term. It's just, I know what it is, but it's right. probably somewhere like a tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so now you're going to turn your pan on. We're going to start sauteing onion. Okay. Broccoli. Turn it on to what? Like medium high? Medium high. No, a titch is more than a pitch. I will, I will qualify that. <laughs> okay, the broccoli. So this is actually a broccoli cauliflower combo. So just take out the cauliflower. And I feel like cauliflower doesn't go with this, but if you want to eat it, it's up to you. I agree. I will just eat it. Yeah, up. and they're already cut into florets. Okay. So are you thinking we're going to use this whole bag of broccoli? I don't know. That's a lot of broccoli. Yeah. So interesting. There's way more broccoli than cauliflower. Definitely. <laughs> Dear Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the broccoli's going to shrink. Okay. It's hard. I can't tell what that is. Put your hand on it. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know. It's up to well, you Jeffrey guys. has a giant hand, so I know. maybe That's like this. Is, this is a regular <laughs> hand. <laughs> like in my personal opinion, I would cook half of that. Okay, wait, but this is for two. Yeah, but remember, we're gonna be adding in that meat. Okay, cool. But if you want to eat more, that's fine. You can do it all. I mean, I feel like like questioning your expertise would be foolish. So. <laughs> no. Let's just go with it. So I'm thinking like this amount of broccoli. Yeah, okay. And if there's any super huge ones, cut them in half. Cut them in half? Yeah, because I want them to cook fast. We're basically going to stir fry these. What the heck? The sun is shining in my face. Okay. So uh, put a little titch of sesame oil. <laughs> Into the pan? Into the pan. And then add the onions and the broccoli. Add the onions and the broccoli. And bring your bring your noodle water back up to high so that it can boil now. Okay. So a titch of sesame oil in the pan, which mm -hmm. as you guys can see. About a tablespoon. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna go with the titch. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a titch, guys. That's a titch. <laughs> okay, so broccoli first or onions first? Uh, onion and then broccoli. Okay. Even you're though it doesn't really matter, pieces. you're gonna mix it up. Just put all that in. Thank you. So a little couple pieces of tomato in here. From oh, yeah, we don't want it. I don't think we need any tomato. Okay. I like this person's like, this is painful. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is 6.30 you know, p.m. Pacific. Toy toy, you know? Oh, what about pepper? Things? Do you feel like using that pepper? The, which pepper? Oh, that orange that. pepper. Let's use it. Yeah, cut off like a side of it and then dice it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna um, cut this. Eric, do you mind going and opening the door just so we can get some air going? Maybe turn your pan to medium too so the onions don't burn now that you're cutting something. 
<laughs> Look, he's maintaining the shot and everything. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so put the, uh, what are we doing with these onions? I feel like yeah, I just go to medium so they don't get too burned quick and then bring the water back up. It's all about the multitask. Yeah, just, uh, I don't want them to cook too fast. I thought we were ready to go, but now I want you to dice up the pepper. Okay. I'll put it down to low, okay? Yeah, just for the moment. Pepper. I think you're only going to use like half the pepper and you're just going to. Okay. Sounds good. And then the broccoli and then maybe we can do a handful of spinach. Okay. I, I think this is going to be good. I think it's going to be great. Hmm? I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. So how are we chopping it? Are we chopping it into longer slices or well you're going to cut it in slices but then you're going to cut those slices into like squares basically okay. in what i would call a small dice okay. everyone's trying to come up with a shirt for titch <laughs> what it shouldn't be say just a titch just a titch it doesn't make any sense though i mean it's, i think it's perfect i don't know i mean weren't you going to use it as like a, a, a unit of measuring for your first cookbook i was but then i they wouldn't really let me because you have to be so specific. Right behind Eric, you want to show, you want to show the camera? You keep it handy. Which we just saw at Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah you guys saw, saw it at We just the... saw your fucking Whole Foods. It was so yeah. exciting. And we hope. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, small dice. That looks good. Throw it in the pan as soon as you got that. Throw the, uh, the peppers in the pan? Pepper, yeah. Well, I feel like it can all go. Okay. I got 99 problems and a stitch at Wait, what did you say? This person I got said, 99 I got, problems. I got 99 and problems and a stitch at one. That's good. That's good. People are that sounds like it means something else. Oh, I just figured out how to balance my phone. Thank God. <laughs> I feel like we have to like somehow incorporate toy toy into Titch, you know? Ah, uh, yeah. Just, just a toy toy Titch. Toss <laughs> <laughs> these in. Yeah, and go back up to medium high now. Okay. Yes, Eric's doing a beautiful job with the camera. Work. Thank you, thank you. I'm using two hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are very sturdy. He's a photographer. All right, you're back up to medium high there. Yep. All right. Once the, yeah, now get the broccoli in too. It can all be, I don't, I don't, I'm a big fan of not overcooking vegetables, as everyone now knows. I agree. And your water's boiling, so I would put the noodles in. Okay. So just leave these? Yeah. Okay. And I got the yaki. So, so here's the thing with the yaki soba as well. It comes with its own pack of seasoning. Which like probably is not vegan. Probably isn't vegan, and you're right, it actually doesn't even have the ingredients listed on it. Because I feel like I bought that before and I throw the seasoning out. Mm -hmm. It's like chicken, isn't it? Oh, sauce based ingredients. Um, well, we're not going to use it because you said the sauce is already like salty. Got it. Yes, and it is just... vegan, just FYI for people. Oh, okay. And that stuff's going to be really salty. Save it though, you can maybe use it for something else. Okay. Okay, so now toss these noodles in, that's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. And those should only take one to two minutes. And uh, once those vegetables are sort of in a few minutes, we'll add some of the meat then. I mean, okay, all right. I'm not going to question anything. I'm just going to go with it. Why? What were you wondering? The, the noodles are like, you know, I don't think they'll take very long. Yeah, that's okay. You'll do them and then you'll just drain them and then... They're going to end up going in the pan at the end, so. Okay. All right. Anything I no, can we're, not, we're not adding tofu. We're adding leftover Beyond Meat chili. <laughs> yeah, you can just let those. You don't need to toss them too much. So the key here is when you're stir frying to go pretty hot and less moving around. Okay. So there's not much to do. We can just chat about something else. <laughs> Okay. Uh, show me that meat again, though, because I don't know if we need it all. Yeah, beef. Show me the beef. 
You want to see the beef? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Show me the beef. Show me the beef. Where's the beef? And yeah, we could probably use it all. Yeah. Okay. You look beautiful. I haven't seen you this whole time. Oh, thanks. Show you know what I think? I think the meat can go in now. What are you saying? I think the meat can go in now. Or does it, okay. do you think it will get overcooked? What happens when you overcook that stuff? It's not great. We were just having oh, this conversation okay. so the other day. Wanna... Oh, okay. I haven't really used it enough to know. It's the yeah. one that comes in the brick, right? Correct. Yeah. But I think for some reason the impossible beef can like cook longer and reheat better than the beyond. All right. Well, then let's not overcook it, but we do want to get it heated through. So okay. the broccoli needs to be bright green and crisp. So when it looks like it's like, I think it's like probably half cooked already. What do you think? The which? The broccoli. Yeah. And the, the noodles are like good to go, honey. Oh, okay. Then get them out of the water. Can you drain them in a strainer? Okay. Excuse me. Don't rinse them. I won't. I'm worried the ratio of noodles to toppings are off, but. Uh, you know, I mean, this is LA. Carbs are a crime, so. Yeah, so we're going it. less carbs, more protein and veg. Yeah, exactly. I'm just. The LA I'm way. Just, by the way. I'm, I'm <laughs> totally joking. What? I'm just joking, by the way. I don't oh, want yeah, we're me totally now. joking. I would yeah. do double noodles and oh, less toppings. Sorry, I didn't, I, was, I didn't show that, that part. Oh, you don't me. need to show that. Sorry. Just Same leave enough. them there, and we'll come back to those. Okay. Um, Everyone said, Junk Food Junction says, add the meat now. Okay, add the meat now. Okay. Trust in Junk Food Junction. Here, but please, sir, may I have a titch? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm just going to go slow. Oh, I just did the whole thing. Oh. So yeah, I'm a little, I feel like it's, I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. It looks like a lot of meat. No, just do I'm it gonna, all. I'm going to get Eric back here doing the filming, okay? The point is that we're redoing the leftovers, so let's just do it all. And, yeah, I would get the meat on the bottom and the broccoli on the top. Well, it'll all going to mix together, but. Mm. Then basically all we're going to do is, like, noodles and sauce together. Really? And then it's done. Wait, we've already been doing this for 40 minutes? Yeah, isn't that insane? This is crazy. It's gone by so quickly. I know. Okay, so the beef is starting to stick to the bottom of the pan a little bit. So should I turn oh. it down? Uh, that's okay. Uh, like in a bad way or in like a nice browning way? Like that. Oh, yeah, that's because you're cast. You don't take care of your cast arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Just put it out there. <laughs> well, what happens with a cast iron is if you don't keep it seasoned, then it does become dry like that and food sticks to it. It's okay. okay. Yes, you could do a titch of oil, but we all, it's up to you if you want to add a titch of uh, neutral oil. Uh, which would be? Like not sesame, like a, like a vegetable or a sunflower or avocado oil. Um, I have a vegetable that I will use. Yeah, just a teach. It's not teach, it's titch. <laughs> That's it, darling. Okay. But soon we're going to add the sauce, so it shouldn't matter. How's our broccoli? Is it... It could use another minute, I think. Okay. But it's, it's starting to get a lot darker, for sure. Okay. It smells incredible. Great. I feel like... <laughs> We don't want the sauce to be in there for too long. We just want to put it in with the noodles and then do a good toss. Put it in with the noodles and do a good toss. Okay. So should I put only, the noodles Only back when into... you think the broccoli is like basically ready. Okay. So are we putting the noodles directly in here or back yeah. in the pot? Yeah. Yeah. In the pan. Okay. Do you have a pair of tongs? Those are just going to help you I toss do. the noodles with the vegetables and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Are we, what are we doing with the spinach? Putting it in towards the Oh, end? I thought we could have spinach, but it's not totally necessary. How do you feel? Maybe just a handful? Yeah. Definitely. So what you'll do is you'll go noodles in, then you'll pour the sauce on top, then you'll take your handful of spinach and just put it on top. Noodles into the stir fry. I like spinach, I mean spinach first, then noodles, then sauce. Just okay. to get the spinach steaming. Okay. So underneath the noodles yeah do it now yeah 
more. Let that, no, no that's good. Let that uh, just, what we might want to do is just put a lid on that for two seconds. Okay. It's like one minute. Yeah, great. Okay. And you're sure the sauce tastes good? Like you feel like it's ready to go? I mean, I think it tastes delicious, but I'm... Okay. <laughs> It's delicious. I mean, it, it tastes it tastes nutty from the sesame oil, spicy from the ginger and the kimchi, salty from the tamari. I mean, it, it's okay. a good it's a good flavor combo. You're getting the ginger though. Yes, I am. All right, all right. Yeah. Okay. I like I like. I like it too, honey. I like. It. Let's check this out. Yeah, you could probably give a toss with the tongs. Or the oh, the tongs. Okay. So I find tongs are good because you can really. Um, turn everything. Hey, Joe Rap Kid is on here. Remember you met Joe? Uh, we went to the um, uh, Veggie Grill party? Yes. Hey, Joe. What's up, dude? <laughs> I haven't had Veggie Grill in so long. Things I, I miss in quarantine. Veggie Grill. Okay, that looks great. Okay, let's go noodles and sauce. Okay, great. The spinach will just wilt again very quick. Do you want to see how, much, how many moves you have? We're just going for it. Oh, looks about right. Yeah. Actually, okay. maybe it's going to be just the exact right amount we need. <gasps> okay, sauce, and then, and then Jenna Marbles was in here earlier. What? Am I going to put it on sparingly or the whole thing? Okay, I felt like the whole thing, but. Give it a toss first. Stop there. There's only a little left, right? Yeah, there's some left. I think we use it all. Yeah? Yeah, you want it saucy. Okay, honey. And I'm even wondering, do you have a spatula? Can you use the end of the tongs to scrape the inside of the blender? Yeah. I, can I, I mean, can I just use... I feel like the tongs are almost like a spatula. They are. It's the same, like, silicone material. But I'll just use this. Yeah, you want to get it all. I can already tell it needs it all. Do the kids know who all of your guests are this season on, on Hopper Food Takeaway? <gasps> oh, no, I haven't announced all of my oh big guests God. coming up yet. Just wait, kids. I am so excited over one person in particular. But the whole well, we'll tell them when you're, when you're doing your taste test, and then before we end it, I'll tell them. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so exciting. I confirmed them all. I am. I love them. I love your guests. There's a new addition, too, from today. Oh, yeah? You probably already can guess who it is. Uh, I have to think about it. I mean, I, the person, uh, the, the lovely human being I had as a guest on my podcast yesterday uh, wants to do an episode with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, wanted to, I want her too. Yeah. Okay, so does it look saucy enough or do we add some, do you need to add something? Definitely don't need to add sauce. I think that this All right. Is, I think you can turn the heat her? off. Should we have Eric give it a taste turn test? The heat off. Yeah, and I want you to put, if you have sesame seeds, when we do it in a bowl, I feel like it should go in a nice bowl and then put sesame seeds on top. Okay, amazing. Are we just going straight from this from this point, or do we want Eric to do a taste test? Oh, yeah, taste it now. Yeah. Make sure. Make sure it doesn't, because once you put the sauce with everything, it might have diluted it. Okay. I'm going to have, I'm going to have Eric do that part. Okay. This is a hundred less eat now. What? A hundred? I don't know what that, that says. Oh, God, I hope it's good. Don't lie, either. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're both wearing tank tops with the sides cut out. You look like Mario Lopez. Eric. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right? You look like Saved by the Bell, Mario Lopez. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Okay. Yes. This is like a good... That's a great that looks bite. like a nice bite. Yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> Oh, yeah, cilantro would be nice on top. Oh, do we have cilantro? Mm -hmm. No. Or green onion, which you probably don't have either. We do, actually. I have some green onion growing Ooh. in my windowsill, believe it or not. <gasps> oh, well, it doesn't. is it ready to use? I mean, there's some. I can use a little bit. I mean, that's a nice garnish. Yeah, why not, right? Eric what does he think? Is it okay? What's he's going on? He's having a full on? meal over here. 
Yeah, I went in for a second, but while well, you guys were talking. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's obviously it's good. good. Does it need really it? good, actually. I don't think I would add anything else to this. Okay. Really? No, um, no more bites. All right. Okay, plate it up, guys. Okay, wait, I gotta get these sesame seeds from wherever yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay. Where are they? Here. Here. Right. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to do some onions real quick? Huh? Do you want me to do some green onions real quick? If you want to, yeah. I mean, why not? Right. So I didn't know that, that trick. It was it was Shazer that taught me this a few weeks ago when she was here visiting me in LA, that you can uh, just stick the bulbs, the ends of chives in a glass of water and just put it in your windowsill and they'll regrow. Yep. Yep. These are, I mean, this is such a small amount, but they've regrown like to full, you know, serving size twice now. I mean, you can even put those in the ground. Didn't you start growing vegetables? Oh, I could put them in the ground. Yeah, yeah you could put that in the ground. Oh, oh that's so smart. Okay, mm -hmm. good to know. Good to know. I think everyone's making friends in the comments. Is everyone making new friends? It looks like. Yeah. That. Yeah, I feel like they are. Okay, great. I'm glad we're creating a safe space for you all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to follow me? Okay, so now. What kind of vessel are we putting it in? You're putting it in this or in this. I was about to open this cupboard fully, but it has. Beautiful. I don't care. California I don't know. Home grown Which in. one is better? I think this. Okay, whatever you, you like. Or... What do you think? I think the last. Yeah. This one? Yeah. The eating vessel really matters. You know, I feel like I need affirmation on everything at this point. Do you want to do, <laughs> do, you want to do, do, you want to do chopsticks? Yeah, chopsticks, chopsticks. Okay. And the noodles didn't get too soft or mushy, did they? I mean, I hope not. Eric tried it, not me. No, they didn't. They're... Okay, because that's one key thing that I was a bit worried. Okay, so now plate it up, you're saying? Yeah. And then we'll garnish it, and then and then you can have a couple bites and let me know what you think. And then I hope it just and so wait, Eric, did it taste like chili? Um, no, it didn't. It not at all. I think the broccoli really helped. The broccoli and the pepper that we used, which really are also them. kind of when you stir fry them, they give they have like an Asian like it's you know it's a stir yeah, fry definitely. and it just changes the whole vibe of it. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Okay, and I think if I would have added like at least spinach when I made the ramen last week, it would have tasted a lot better mm. Helped with the beef flavor. Yeah, you know what would have been nice in that too? Snow peas would be great. Ooh. But. The one know. thing we don't have. <laughs> I rarely buy snow peas, but I think next time I go, I'll do it. Okay. I mean, I think we could just do the whole pan, right? Yeah, that looks actually looks like good two servings for you guys. It is. It's perfect. Wow. I always love when the quantities work out. Yeah, this is great. Even when I'm not there, it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just that good, Twitcha. This whole Hopper Food Takeover thing sometimes is blowing my mind where I'm like, I'm not even there. Like, but Whoa. I also don't get to taste it, so I wonder if I tasted it, would I change it or not? I just miss seeing you taste things and go like this. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So mm, we're gonna go sesame seeds. What color? White or black? White. Uh, brown. Brown. Oh, okay. We also have seaweed. Of that. Oh, they're toasted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We have seaweed as well. Erica's saying. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't add it personally, but. Okay. And then we you could if you seaweed. wanted. Chives here. Ooh, that looks amazing. I'm, I'm so impressed right now. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I mean, what the heck? I can't believe we did this. I just blended kimchi the other day. What the heck was I making? I don't know. I, bl I, I blend it all the time. I love blending things. It's my favorite thing. You bought me a blender when I moved to Brooklyn as my household. Do you remember? <laughs> Literally getting someone a blender or a bullet is like the best gift if they're yeah. such a great gift. Like, yeah. Such a great gift. Okay. Here's Eric. Thank you so much. Where do you want to go eat? I mean, we could go eat outside, but there's like a, about a dozen wild green parrots chirping like crazy. <laughs> Let's just sit right here. Wherever y'all want. Come sit here. Mm -hmm. Take a seat, my love. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey hasn't taken a bite yet, so. Oh, that's right. I mean, yeah, I want a bite. Now. We're waiting for your verdict. Also, this right. will cut us off in 10 minutes. So this week, we probably won't go after an hour. So actually, this is perfect timing. That was a quick meal. It was a quick takeover, Toy Tone. I'm trying to see what I can use here to prop. I mean, that was a 30-minute meal. Was it? 
Yeah, no, obviously you'd need to have that Beyond Meat orange cook for everybody watching. Yes. But a good substitute would have been like something like Eve's, which is basically already cooked. It just needs to be heated or yeah. garden ground round, which if you thought in the cup, it's already essentially cooked also. But the Beyond Meat really needs to be like cooked proper, so. Definitely. Jeff, it's Cousin Easton. Oh, hey, Easton. How are you, buddy? Oh, it's so good to see you. What's up? Give the family my love. Oh, and Pamela Wise. What's up, Pamela Wise? Oh, Pamela is here. Wise Joy 3000. I haven't even looked to see who's on the comments. Yeah, well, you can actually scroll up and see. Can't you? Oh, or can so I only good. I do that? And? It's perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is really good. It's perfect. It doesn't, like, I would, I would never be able to guess that there was chilling in this at one point. Really? Uh -uh. <clears throat> no, it's perfect. Yes, well done, honey. And it tastes like an Asian-inspired thing. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think blending the kimchi was such a good idea because when I made the ramen last week, I just chopped it finely and kind of mixed it into the beef itself when it was frying, but it didn't really retain a lot of the flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love blending things. And like in that kimchi, perhaps there was seaweed already too, maybe? So that helps? Um, maybe. Yeah. Want me to look? I don't know. Yeah, I have the same one in my fridge and I can't remember. Um, Napa cabbage, green onion, sea vegetable, chili mm -hmm. pepper, sea salt, sesame seeds, garlic, and ginger. It's so simple. So simple. I mean, Incredible. we can even make our own kimchi if we want now that we're making sourdoughs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yes. I'm making my first loaf this week. Can't wait to see it. Because it's basically like your favorite bread that you get from San Francisco. Yes, which now I won't be buying it from there. I'll just make my own, hopefully. Although I still need a week to get my starter going. But can we do it then? My recipe has. I got my recipe from Constance Zimmer. She gave it um, me her starter. That's 150 years old from France, apparently. Crazy. It's crazy, but her recipe makes two loaves at a time. Ooh. So maybe we can do a loaf swap. Maybe a I'll, loaf make, swap. I'll make yeah, I'll make yeah, two yeah. loaves. You make two loaves, and we go from there. Yeah, I'm down. I'll, I'll throw it at you from 10 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Not good at catching. All right, well, we only have a few minutes left. So, um, hmm, so what else should people, uh, what should people know about you? Uh, I know everything about you, so I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you all are so funny. Um, uh, I have my podcast, JBC Presents Conversations with Others. Um, season two is just launched last week. We have a new episode coming up this week with Tatiana Maslani from Orphan yes. Black. Um, Lauren Toyota is on the first season of the show, so go back and listen to that episode. Um, I have uh, Canada's Drag Race coming out soon. We'll get some announcements soon, kids. Okay, so and we just want to know when that comes out. But I can't say. And I have, I, have, I, have, I have another fun project, but I can't say when that is either. But this summer. Do I know what that is? Yeah, you do. soon. You do. It's theaters near you. It's, it's, I, I can't give it away, but yes. No, I know. Why do I remember? Well, I have two projects this summer, actually. I my movie Spiral is coming out. It's going to be streaming this summer. Oh, yeah, I watched that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be streaming on what? Do we know? I think, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. It's oh, going to be okay. streaming. It's going to be streaming this summer. Yeah. All the secrets. Okay, yeah. well, tell everybody who's coming to Hot for Food Takeover live. Um, so I'm going to geek out so hard about this. Some of y'all might not know who she is, but it was the first concert I ever went to. One of my favorite <laughs> memoirs I've ever read and one of the funniest comedians that I've ever seen who has her own TV show. Jan Arden. Ooh! So Jan Arden is a Canadian legend. She's going to be on May 12th. Before She's incredible. that, so though, but before that, um, to next week is Nikki Limo, who is a YouTuber who some of you guys probably know. She makes my recipes all the time on her Tasty Tuesday segments on YouTube. She lives in LA. So I'm going to be cooking with Nikki, which I'm really excited about because she always makes my recipes and she has this like hilarious way about her in her kitchen. And, like, I think it's going to be hilarious to see her cooking live. Then after that, oh my God, this is the most random one and I'm so excited about it. On May 5th, I'm having Riff Raff on Hot for Food Takeover. Yes, honey. Riff aka Jody High Roller, at Jody High Roller on Instagram. Um, yeah, he's a rapper. He's uh He's the wild. dude who James Franco's character in Spring Breakers is based on. Really? Yes. yes. <laughs> he's so crazy. And then he sued him, and then I think they're friends now. <laughs> they, they did a piece of content together. So, yeah, Nikki Limo, Riff Raff, then Jan Arden, 
Then I just confirmed today, Lance Bass oh, will be on, yes, <laughs> on yeah, May 19th. And yes. I just did his podcast today, and which actually comes out oh. tomorrow. I'm on Wellness Wednesday, so I'm on the oh, daily podcast tomorrow with Lance Bass. So That's I'll tweet so that, fun. or not tweet that out. I'll post about that so you guys can listen. Oh, and I'm then so I'm excited to hear on it. the air. I was like, "Oh, you should come on Takeover." Blah blah blah. And he's like, "Okay." <laughs> That's what you got to do. You got to like put him on the spot. Yeah. So we're gonna have a bunch of celeb guests uh, yes. today because you're a celeb until May nineteenth. And Thanks. then after that, I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to roll with the punches. I'm just rolling with the punches. These guests that you, came up. I think you should do, I think you should do one with Shazza because she has, she lives in Vancouver in a tiny home. So I think that would be interesting for people. Oh, to see. that like, would be during, interesting. Tiny home. Has, yeah. Right. Cause she only has a limited amount of space and she can only have a limited amount of groceries, especially through all of this. She has to be very thoughtful. That's interesting. I kind of like that. That's like when I actually cooked in a van uh, with my friends Eamon and Beck. I did a recipe in their in their vegan van. So that would be cool. Um, all right. Well, I think this is great. We kept it to under an hour. We did a 30-minute meal. You guys amazing. were amazing and quick and so efficient. Thanks for Thanks, shooting. Right? Thank you. This is so good. Thank you so much for your help. This is perfect, Toy Toy. Truly, it's it's so delicious. I'm, I'm so, so glad you like it and that it worked out. And yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching, me. kids. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye, Pamela. Bye, Easton. I don't know who else is in here that I know that I can see, but I love you all. Yeah, yeah everyone's been awesome. So, yes. okay, well, I guess we're going to log off. You guys have fun. I love you both. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>